Good morning. I hope all my sweet students are safe and healthy and you must be enjoying your holidays. So let's begin today's lesson. Today, again, just like as usual we do, uh, I'm telling you, you have to open up your student books of social studies for a better world, level six, chapter four, concepts and issues, population. And it is on page 101. And the good news is that in our classes, in our last video, we had covered the whole chapter. Now, chapter 4 is completed. So, what we are going to do today is going to cover glossary of chapter 4 that is on page 101. What is glossary? Glossary is basically the list of words related to a specific subject. So, what we covered? Population. Population was a subject and we covered it. So now we are going to start the glossary, the main main important definitions we will cover. But before we begin, I just want you to know that this time is very precious for you. You get time in your home to learn more. So you have to memorize all these definitions which we will cover uh, during this vacation. And the most important thing I want to tell you is uh, uh, you should uh, uh, like personally I felt in during our classes that uh, most of the students feel uh, difficulty in reading and pronouncing words and they are uh, quite uh, poor at reading so what I am going to do is going to read all these definitions again so you listen them carefully and then you memorize them for your semesters uh, which might be coming soon so let's begin with uh, the first definition is population census population census what was population census i we already had done it in our uh, classes in school we we had uh, we had done it in great detail but today i'm going to read it for you so the total number of all persons by age and with specific social and economic characteristics let me bring my cursor okay the total number of all persons by age and with specific social and economic characteristics within a given area at a particular time is called population census. Census. Okay. Next is population size. What is population size? Here we go. The number of people living in a specific place at a certain time is called population size size next we have population density population density what is population density the average number of people living in one square kilometer is called population density and I uh, uh, we uh, uh, we drew a detailed picture about explaining this topic in the class if you remember uh, we have we had we had done it in the classes so I'm not going to explain them again then we have population growth what is population growth the increase or decrease of the population is called population growth then few more definitions what was birth rate we did it so I'm um, again what is birth rate the number of children born each year is called birth rate death rate the number of people die in each year is called death rate unemployment what is unemployment the condition of having on job the condition of having no job what is uh, immigration people who move from their country to a new country is called immigration people who move from their country to a new country is called immigration and the last very important thing for today because uh, we had completed the whole chapter 4 so today task is you have one more week uh, for this task complete all missed out exercises from page 53 to 70 open your Today's uh, task is to open your workbooks and start with page 53 and uh, see whatever missed out from 53 till 70, whatever filling the blanks or any question answers 
crossword puzzles, bar graphs. We had done it, but still you have to check your copies or workbooks if something missed out. So your task is today is to complete the whole word book exercises. I, I, I still remember that we, uh, we had uh, completed few, few in the classes and a few I gave you in the homework. But your today task is to see whatever missed out and complete it. So because in our next video, inshallah, we are going to begin chapter 5. So this whole week you are you are supposed to prepare this uh, chapter 4 and memorize the definitions and memorize the filling the blanks and uh, complete your crossword puzzles and bar graphs. Take care. See you again.